In London, they've been manufacturing its genetic code and injecting it into animals in an attempt to trigger an immune response. <laughs> Professor Shatok stresses the importance of international health, hoping for positive results within weeks. And then we want to move to doing human testing um, towards the beginning of the summer. And that's you know, faster than we've ever gone before. But those first human studies will again be to check that the vaccine is safe in a small number of individuals and induces the right kind of, a, uh, of an immune response that we would predict would be protective. Containment of the virus breaks down, there's a risk of a global pandemic with coronavirus running out of control. We are talking about millions of infections, but you have to remember that influenza, seasonal influenza itself, causes hundreds of thousands of deaths annually yet we're not getting a daily update on the number of influenza deaths. What's happening at the moment is you're getting the number of fatalities based on those that have severe infection. So it may look worse than it is ultimately on a percentage basis. Coronavirus, but adds, there's been a lot of scaremongering. It is still in